What's going on YouTube? US Gamers React. I'm Let em Peak. And today we're going to break down something that is in my wheelhouse. Aviation fails. Aviation fails. For those who don't know, I'm actually a fully licensed pilot. I've got all the ratings and certifications that one can have. Well, there, I think there's one I'm missing, but it doesn't matter. Regardless, this is my wheelhouse. So we're going to break down some of these and I'm going to react to some of them. Let's do it. I mean, I've seen this one, and this, this is crazy. The thing just comes apart, and you can still hear the turbine in there spinning. He had to have just clipped a wire. Whoa. This guy's got an engine out, obviously. Wow. Oh! My god! That's super dangerous, because he would have hit, he would have been slammed forward like that? Man. You can see he's engine out, but he did this all wrong. I mean, goodness. And you can see his flaps are up. So he's he's just above stall speed with flaps up. Whatever led to this situation, at this point, he could still recover this. He would hit the water a lot better. He's still probably going in the drinks or something wrong with the engine, but if he would have just flared that out, been, I would have been throwing my flaps down. If it was me and I was in that turn right there, I would have been extending the flaps and getting them rolling down. Obviously, he's still got electrical power, so he could absolutely get those down. But man, you don't want to hit the water like that. Lighter. A little bouncy. Uh, rudder. <laughs> Left rudder. Okay, yikes. Big yikes. He put up the spoilers. He's trying to stop. He's probably on the brake. I uh, almost got it. No, tree. Oh, dude, I want one of these so badly. I want one of these so badly. It's a, it's a Talon. Like A600. This is the piston version. Yeah, this is the piston engine version. They're only like 50 grand. Like, that's what's crazy. A little two-seat helicopter. They're sick. I think it's a rotorway. Uh, off the ground, get it off the ground, get it off the ground. <sighs> that was painful to watch. What is that, dude? Hold on, stop. Rewind, stop. Hold on. This is going in my Amazon cart. What in the bukkake am I looking at right here? It's an electric motor with a prop who's got wheels that's connected to his butt somehow. And it stays remarkably, look at that, it stays like remarkably in like in the right spot. What was that, dude? That's ingenious. He's pitching up, he's pitched down. It kind of looks like his motor's was like slowing down. He was gonna stall. You knocked over a cone, buddy. Um, he's trying to pick it up. Oh, is this guy gonna screw it up? This is supposed to be fails. This guy knows what he's doing, bro. This guy knows what he's doing. Little MD500, very responsive. I mean, he's gonna screw it up somehow, right? Because so far, this isn't a fail, this is a win. This is a 100% win, okay, he dropped it. I get so nervous with that tail rotor, man. Every time he pitches back. That's not a fail. That's just skill. That is raw skill. Oof. I knew a guy that was a Chinook pilot and we used to hang out, you know, quite often at the airport. And he told me what this Chinook is doing right now. He said this was the only problem the Chinook had is that you could get this out of balance and they would start vibrating. And he said it would vibrate itself to death. He said it could lift a building. He said it was the best helicopter he'd ever flew. But he said that's the only problem that the Chinook ever had was that weird vibration that went between the two rotors. 
How is this guy gonna fail? He's picking people up on the side of a mountain. I mean, if he stays on the collectic and cyclic, I mean, he's gonna be... He's doing good so far. Loading all those people on, that's gonna shift the, the moment and the arm and the helicopter and that... He's making good corrections. Look, his tire's still touching. It's right where he wants it to be, just nice and light. How is that a fail? That's not a fail. You don't deserve to be in this compilation, sir. That was a great job. What plane is that, dude? What plane is that? I've never seen that before. Japan? Boy, it's off the ground fast. Goodness. It's off the ground super fast. As soon as he hit the power, the thing wanted to come out of the water. How is that a fail? That's pretty cool. Oh, I've got a story about this, dude. This is a pivot maneuver. I don't know what the helicopter pilot's call because I'm not helicopter certified, but this is just a basic pivot. And uh, I went to Oshkosh uh, one year. And in Oshkosh, the, they had a, a flight sim for helicopters, like a motion flight sim. And I've lived in the RC world for a long time, and I was a sponsored demo pilot for RC helicopters. And so I know how helicopters work. And I was like, I, I wonder if I can fly that thing, because I've flown them on flight sims before, right? And I jumped in it, and after like 30 seconds, I pulled that pivot maneuver off on a like car that was on the ramp. And the instructor sitting next to me was like looking at me. I was like, what? This is pretty easy. He's like, you're a helicopter pilot. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm an aircraft pilot, fixed wing. At the time, it was just single engine too. And he's like, no, there's no way. There's no way. And he didn't believe me. I left the, I left the booth with him not believing me. I showed him my license and everything. I was not a helicopter pilot. But... How's that a fail, dude? He had like an engine out. Hold on, let's back up and diagnose this. So obviously he lands, right? This isn't what I want to see. What I want to see is on up here. Dang it. One second off. So it's a... Uh, it looks to me like a... Like a Beechcraft. So this, this prop's obviously stopped. You can see that prop is obviously stopped. Um... Is that prop also stopped? I can't see if that prop is stopped. I would assume it would have to be because there's no reason for a multi-engine aircraft to land in a place like this. With If that engine's on, he should have a single engine service ceiling and he should be fine unless he's in Denver, which doesn't really look like Denver. I mean, in smaller horsepower multi-engines the service ceiling is like 4500 feet which covers like a majority of the u.s he had to have had something else go wrong or he ran out of gas possibility this looks like it in terribly i've never seen that maneuver that actually worked really well I did not think that was going to end up like that. I thought for sure the trailer would start bouncing or something. That was actually a great way to launch. Oh dear god, this is like, this was a fear of mine for so long, dude. What happened? It crashed! What's, hold on, what, what was going on here? Why, why did he go off the end in an aircraft like that? Okay, so he's in a takeoff configuration. Look, the spoilers aren't up. This guy's trying to take off. So did he do his calculations wrong? Did he lose an engine?
That could also be a possibility. Lost an engine on takeoff and we can't see it. No, there's no way. There's no way he lost an engine because he would have pulled that back way farther back than right here. So he's realizing he's not going to have enough runway to get off. That is terrifying because that means he is full of gas. Most likely he's full of gas because planes like this, they go places. They go far. This looks like a Hawker, I think. Maybe a Falcon. Quite sure. Don't have much experience with this type of jet. So he, and he doesn't have reversers either, which makes me think it's a Hawker. Because I don't think Hawkers get reverse. I could be wrong. But still, this is... Someone miscalculated somewhere. Because he should have had enough runway to get off. And maybe he didn't stick with it? Because he, he was going pretty fast. Maybe if he stuck with it... I don't know, man. That's scary, though. That's terrifying. What am I looking at here? Okay. Recovery from the air? Okay. Wow, it's really bad conditions. Look at the trees behind. Look how much the helicopter is bobbing and weaving and shaking. That's the one thing that's nice about helicopters, though. They do. That disc just cuts the wind. So mainly, it's the wind hitting the body of the helicopter that is fluttering and doing weird stuff. Boy, that's a tight squeeze, son. He's fine. That was not a fail. Good flying. I've seen where they do this overseas. They land these in tight, tight space. They do it here, too, but not really where I live. Not, not really. But I've seen highways, stuff like that. That's life flight. That other one was like a a rescue. That's just lifelike, taking somebody to the hospital. 50 grand one of those trips cost you. One of my, one of my old friends actually had to get airlifted. 50 grand. Okay, Podunk, Backwoods, Jungle. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god. Hit the brakes, Terry! Yeah, that was a fail. Dude wasn't on the brakes. This is looking good. He's not letting it dip too much. Nicely He's off the power done. right there. You can see it. He's pulling back, keeping Nicely the wheel down done. on the brakes. That's not a fail. People do that all the time. Just like that, too. Firefighting aircraft. He's picking up water. Dump it on the fire. Oh, God. Boat in the way. Son, I get out of the way, dude. I've always kind of thought it'd be cool to fly one of these behemoths, because they are behemoths, especially when they're full of water, I'm, I could only imagine. That's the end of the video. Is this not going to be a fail? That's not a fail, dude. He's doing his job, doing it well. That's not a fail. Well, if you like this video and you want me to do some more of this reviewing of aviation stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. I plan on making some more videos and actually bringing some more gamers into the channel as well. So, if you like what I'm doing, let me know about it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.